um, the issue of control with these, right? These drills are definitely, are, are, are essentially just control drills. We're trying to control our blades in the vertical plane, you see, so that we can get around, we can, we can parry effectively, right? <clears throat> but also, when we throw the strikes, if, you, if we come up here, um, okay, so now, like I was saying, if, 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 he's, if he's going to, to hit me with, say, like a shim, right, that's obviously the most controlled because he brings it right back in. So when he can use that as a pair, too, right, if I come here like this, right, he can go like that and then maybe go for hands, go for, right. go for head, something like this, just like that, right? Okay. Now, if, however, I know that he's going to do that, right, okay, He's okay because he can re recover from that. Let's say that though he puts in too much, too much force into this. Okay. Right. okay? Right. You safe? Okay. Okay. Shitting harder. Right. So if if he's here like this and he wants to do that and he swings too hard, woof, right. Then I get then I get the shot. Right. If we're like this and I notice that he's he's hitting my saber when he when he carries. Right, go ahead and hit at it. Right? Then what, what will happen? I'll just do this. You see? Okay? Whoosh! Okay? Better yet, I mean, obviously, if he's wearing a helmet, cool. Right. Okay? He goes for that, and then I come right there, because that, that target zone is right there, very there. I have to have good control, because it comes off, I come here, he's got to carry that, and then I have to stop that rebound and come to here. So at some point, my weapon has force that's resisting me. I have to control it and change it to the next target, right? So when we're doing the when we're doing the uh, the drills like this, okay? Yes. Is it likely that as we're fighting, just do it real slow? I'm going to be able to do this. Probably not, right? That's a very kind of exaggerated version of something that it would kind of look like that, right? Like, you know, look here like this. Right? Because this is a very good parry, right? But the idea that we're going to necessarily do it just like that when we use it is, is, is erroneous, right? All of this, as we've done before, can be encompassed in that, right? So that if he's coming into the side here, you see, that amount of control, boom, boom, okay? Now, like I was saying also, we, since our saber can't actually cut through anything, the side is kind of imaginary to us, but it can be analogous to, to uh, draw cuts, okay? Because they also require you drag to drag across or to create force across and bring your weapon off of your line, right? That's everybody's complaint over stuff like that, right? Okay, it's like, oh, you're totally open. May yes, I am, maybe, okay? Um, but we have guards like that, too. So if I'm here like this, as we were doing yesterday, I can right. get you to go where I want you to go, mm -hmm. right, if, if I so desire. So opening and closing of doors, but it's the control so that we know which doors we're opening, which ones we're closing, and we can control that, right? Because if, if he swings at my saber and I take it apart, whoosh, now he's all open, right? Because his weapon's way over here, okay? That doesn't necessarily mean he's done something wrong. He just misjudged it, or I tricked him, or, or something happened where he brought his weapon off the line. So again, we have to then stop that weapon from going any further, and we have to bring it back into line or into another guard. In this case, if I'm here, there, and I come up over, right, right he's got to bring it, <laughs> go straight up. You see, oh, but don't go, have it pointed down. There you go. Okay. Right, we don't want it, well, I mean, I can get away with it because I have a guard, but. Mm -hmm. You see, we want to, we, we always know when we're like this, yeah, 
You see, so that if I start to slide down, that's not going to work. You're going to require me to disengage. Okay, again, control, right? Where is that control? When we're here, there, it's here. Okay, so yes, just like Yoda said, control is number one, uh, number one priority, right? We do not want to whoosh, whoosh. This is why martial arts instructors will admonish students for hitting too hard, right? Because while it seems like it's successful when you hit somebody, right? Like, if I'm here and he really whacks me on the head, right? Okay? It's like, yeah, that felt great! Right? But if he does it for real, and I dodge it, right? He is, he is overcommitted to his next to, to his move, mm -hmm. right? Which means if I can see him going for that, when I dodge it, I can come in, right? Now, notice that I've got my, my weapon here and my hand here, so that if he tries to come back up, I've got him blocked there, and then I can just right. push him back there, okay? Again, I've got to be able to control my saber, right? To take advantage of him not being able to control his saber, mm -hmm. okay? So when you do those drills, we're not just thinking about yeah and doing those those strikes. We're thinking about controlling it, reversing it, where you're going to go with it. Um, when we go from side, the first move we do is a forward kind of block like that. If, if demonstrate here, if I'm here like this and he comes in with an overhead strike, right? You see, just like that, right? Okay. Now, the footworks was reversed in that, but that just goes to show you that these can be done with any footwork or anything like that. It's the, it's the amplitude and, and strength of that re, uh, relative strike which is, uh, which is needed. But if I'm in this position, when I come up like this, right, there you go. And so then when he goes around, ah, he came over too early, you see? He got too enamored with the with the strike. He forgot that I'm going to disengage. Right. Come around, carry yeah. that strike. No nope, other way. Go around your back. You see? That's why you go around the back. Sometimes, just like on a plane, right? Sometimes your closest exit is behind you. <laughs> okay. So, whew, that might be the quickest way to get over, especially if somebody is like real bound up in you. Right? So if I'm coming here, and, I, and he catches me here like this, and I'm like this, uh -huh. right? He's not going to go around the front, especially if I do this. Right. Okay, so even if I block that hand, he can come around the back. Right? Are you going to do that every time against a single opponent who's standing in front of you? No. But, I would imagine that would go without saying. <laughs> right? And I think that anybody who straps on some gear and goes up against somebody and really kind of goes at it for, for real, figures out real quick, I can't do the things that I wanted to do. I, I'm not going to be able to spin. And if they try, it's bang, bang, right? Because all of a sudden, reality comes smacking you right there in the face, right? Make sense? Sir. All right. So control, always about control, right? Even though we wear gear, we're not trying to do huge contact we don't need to these are lightsabers right so there we do hit hard because we move fast right but we don't we're trying to but move fast that. with control right if I'm doing this that's one thing if I'm it's an entirely different thing all right yes sir okay